tons of questions and comments and emails on how exactly I make a lot of money unlocking phones, buying financed phones and reselling them. Um, and essentially just you know providing this valuable service of unlocking chips to people. Now, a lot of people in the phone flipping industry are not aware of this, and if they are, they're super, super confused. So without further ado, I am going to clear up and show you guys exactly how to take locked iPhones like Sprint Finance, um, blocked for non-payment, et cetera, et cetera, and essentially unlock them to most carriers using this chip and using the older RSIM chip as well. So we are direct distributors of these chips. Um, there are a lot of people selling them, but we are the authentic guys out here and we work directly with um, the companies that do manufacture them. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Um, right here, we have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now this is a Sprint financed carrier locked iPhone, guys. So not really much we can do with this. Kind of sucks, um, but guys, let's say a customer wanted to switch to AT&T or you just simply wanted to unlock this phone for yourself, um, etc. There's so many ways you can make money in this business. Well, let me prove to you that this is locked to Sprint. We already have checked the IMEI. Um, oh yeah, guys, to start off, you want to make sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi. So if you're unlocking this for a person, um, make sure you are in a Starbucks, etc., McDonald's, um, that you can unlock it. So first things first is make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, boom, phone's good, 11 Pro Max. Um, the next step, okay, you are going to take your SIM card out. And first off, I just wanna show you guys um, that this iPhone is locked to Sprint and it will not use an AT&T SIM card. So that is what we have right here. So. Let me open this up right here. You have your Jevy chip that we sell and you are just going to boom, pop the SIM card out like so. And look, boom, nothing in there. There was a Sprint before, but now let's try and put this card in here. So putting the Sprint in or putting the AT&T inside this and let's see if it works guys. Nope, activation required. There's really nothing you can do software up to date and it will try and activate you know what it's not activating right guys because it is a carrier locked phone to sprint boom sim not supported so that was just to show you guys that this phone is locked to sprint it is not working with at&t but let's see these unlock chips so boom let's pop that out right there um you have the sim right here now all you're going to do is you're going to take the chip that we provide and you are going to go like this. It'll look like this on the Chevy. You have a side on here and you're just going to rip that side off. Um, I don't know why they put these on here, but you really don't need that. So boom, guys, rip it off lightly, be careful, and boom, you can just place that right there. Now, all you're going to do is you are going to put this in here like this, kind of slide it in, then, you are going to take your AT&T SIM card or whatever SIM card you are desiring to put on the new phone to unlock it with, and all you're going to do is lightly, guys, and delicately put it in the SIM tray. Now, boom, you're gonna fold it. The Jevy symbol of the tray should be on top like so, and make sure it is all snug in there. Then all you're gonna do is lightly and delicately put it inside this phone, like so. Just get this right for you guys, and you're going to go like this. There you go. Make sure you are getting it in there all the way. And let's see what happens. Um, sometimes it can take a few minutes, so do not be worried if it is not working right away. Um, the SIM is in there now. Seconds. Okay. Give it, a, there you go guys, edit ICC ID. Um, so guys, edit ICC ID is going to pop up um, and you are just going to backspace and take all of that out, okay guys? Cause we wanna put in this code. Now, 
once you buy from us, uh, even if the ICC ID does change, we will provide you with a premium up-to-date code. So as of the middle of March right now, this code is up-to-date and is working. So you guys will erase, like I just said, that code and you will place this code in. So let's get to it. We have 8901, um, 4103, 2704, 2160, um, 0735. Boom, guys. All we're going to do next is simply click send. It says OK, accept it. Then, guys, restart the phone. Boom. We'll see. And boom. Now you have bars on AT&T. Um, make sure that you are updated to the latest iOS. Boom. Continue. And let's see if this works, guys. We just unlocked this phone. A few minutes for your phone to activate. And guys, there you have it. We have just taken a Sprint um, 11 Pro Max and unlocked it with our unlocking chips. As you can see right here, guys, we are getting full bars, AT&T, um, awesome, awesome stuff here. Now let's go into settings. Everything's all good, guys. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, just put that ICC ID code in. And guys, sometimes it will even automatically connect the ICC ID um, if it's up to date. So you might not even get the pop-up menu, guys, but that is really simple. Now just to prove to you guys that I'm not BSing here, um, let's see, let's try and call um, you know what? We'll just look up, you know, McDonald's. Okay, so we're already on the internet. Uh, let's, you know, call McDonald's, um, you know, McDonald's in New York City. Let's see if that works, guys. So McDonald's open 24 hours and let's see if we get a ring. There we go. I don't know why I just accidentally screenshotted that. <laughs> so guys, it is working. Sounds like they are busy. Um, let's try and, you know, we'll just say, uh, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. So guys, we'll just say and call, you know, um, any place, any fast food place. We'll say Walmart, um, in, you know, Washington DC. Boom guys. Let's see if this works. Closes soon. Let's give these guys a call. Boom. Let's see guys. Let's see if we get rings. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. And that's it, guys. So now I'm going to be showing you on the older phone models. Um, the real only difference is the SIM card tray. Um, everything else, guys, is pretty much going to be the same. So let's see if we can unlock this Sprint Lock 7 Plus. Um, let's get open our chips. Okay, so now, guys, pay attention. The steps to unlocking this bad boy right here. Um, normally, you guys would keep it intact and just take off this piece. But for the older models, iPhone 6 through X, um, guys, just take this off and just take it in half. So take that piece, throw it to the side. You don't need it. As you always, you're going to want to rip this side piece off as well. Throw that to the side. Boom. Now, with these SIM trays, you're going to put the unlock chip in and then your desired SIM over top, guys. So it's not that hard. Here we go. Um, and guys, we're just gonna go lump something like this. Boom, and then boom, just like that. Nice and snug in there, guys. Then take your desired chip, um, this AT&T, for example, that we're gonna be trying to unlock this with. And guys, you're just gonna place it right on top like so, um, just like that. And boom, make sure it's all snug in there, guys. Do everything correct, what I'm saying in this video, and you guys should be good. Then you're gonna put this card in, oops. You're gonna put this SIM card in here and like that, you're gonna give it a few seconds um, to load up guys. And on these older models, it can take a few seconds. But And guys, there we go. Um, just needed, sometimes on these older phones, you have to restart them. Um, and if not, it will automatically pop up just like we did in there. So it's getting no service right now. All you're going to do is the same process. Edit ICC ID. You are just going to type in what the current up-to-date ICC ID is. Um, and guys, that is 
2704 2160 showing bars and AT&T signal. Um, we did the same exact process, just a little bit of a different setup. And if you're not if it's not loading with the pop-up menu, guys, all you're gonna have to do is restart the phone and then it should pop up. Um, and guys, give it some time. Oops. Give it some time. It should definitely work. Um, I've never had a problem. Like I said, if you do airplane mode on and off and the ICC ID will pop up. So guys, that is all you're doing. Um, just enter in the up-to-date current ICC ID. Um, rip in half the current SIM that you're using, whether you're using the older R SIM or the Jevy. And guys, you have AT&T on a Sprint iPhone 7 Plus. Um, it's crazy. These chips are going to go quick. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, one more thing I wanted to throw in there for you is that you can take pretty much any Sprint blocked device financed and make it GSM, uh, T-Mobile to AT&T and all that stuff.